Hey YouTube, what's up? James here. Thanks for tuning in. Today I'm doing a unique video for me and that I'm going to talk about uh, what it's like to get 1 million views on your YouTube channel and how much I made. So let's get right into it. So if you're not familiar with my channel, I do mostly fabrication videos around my workshop. Sometimes I film stuff here at my house that I'm working on. And uh, generally I made a goal for myself to film just about anything that I do uh, or work on. And then I edit it down and bring it to you guys. Um, I appreciate all of the uh, likes and comments and shares that I've gotten over the last year. Uh, basically last year, it was really toward the end of 2018, I uh, made a commitment to myself to uh, give YouTube a real try. I started the channel back in 2009 and I put up a few videos of some doing some pottery and a painting a motorcycle and um, at the time they didn't really do anything. The motorcycle painting video now has like a quarter million views, uh, which is actually my highest viewed video on the channel. Um, but at the time I was, I got like, nothing's happening and I just got busy with other things and didn't make any more videos. So the channel just kind of went delinquent for about, um, you know, about nine, eight, nine years. And then I picked it up again in 2018, started putting out some videos. I decided to make a run at it and I made a goal for myself for 2019 to put out at least a video a week. And I was able to hit that goal. I put out about 70 videos that I think um, had pretty good content to them. A lot of them focused on a WJ Jeep project that I was working on and gained a lot of followers from those videos. And um, in 2020, we'll be a lot more of the same finishing up that project. I got some other projects that are coming up down the pipe and, uh, and also just continuing videoing um, things that I work on or repair and uh, creative things that I do. So that being said, um, you know, for 2020, I definitely plan on doing a video per week. Uh, generally right now, Monday at 8 a.m. is when I launch each video. But today we're here talking about how much I made with 1 million views. And I have about 8,500 subscribers right now. So I can tell you off the bat that I make about $250 a month on average for the last six months or so. And if you're not familiar with how people make money on YouTube, it's from the advertising. So when you click on a video, you see that ad. Sometimes there's ads that run through the video or in the middle somewhere or, and sometimes at the end. Um, we supposedly are splitting the profits of those ads with YouTube. So if, if somebody pays, you know, five cents or 10 cents to run an ad, I would get five cents, but it's not even that much. The uh, advertisers are paying about a tenth of a penny, if that, per ad. Um, so it takes, it takes tens of thousands of views to really start making any significant amount of money. Um, but I'll go ahead and I'll turn my screen on here so that you guys can see exactly how much I made. And um, we'll go from there. All right, so guys, this is the channel analytics that is provided to us by YouTube. So it basically gives us an overview, reach, engagement, revenue, and all that. So I selected some custom dates here from basically March 2007 to December 31st, 2019 to give a real clear picture. So this is just when I peaked over 1 million views. And you can see right here is my estimated revenue uh, for the entire time. So from 2007 to 2019. And you can see this graph here like basically doing nothing and then this is this time in here is when I started putting out more videos I had a real peak here on this day right right in there hard to click on it and uh, so in that time gained around 7,000 subscribers the 1 million view mark if I click on uh -oh. let me go uh, We'll go to the last 30 days. So my, my clicks per mil, which is uh, per thousand views. So I'm making about $7 per thousand views. And only about half of the your views are monetized. So for some reason. So if you get 100,000 views in a month, only about 50,000 of those views are you're going to get paid on at your CPM rate, which varies depending on the type of videos you do and all that good stuff. 
Um, so down here we can see the month. So that 250 a month, I guess, was a little bit, a um, little high. So my average so far for this month for February 141, last month 282, 172 in December, 152. So kind of see what's there. And then my top earning videos. So my front bumper video made me $30. My countertop twenty three dollars, pre runner bar twenty two. So it's pretty cool to get you know. It's obviously not huge numbers, but you know I feel like my my time and effort is is uh, being paid back a little bit. So it's pretty neat what they give you here. There's a lot of uh, analytics you can uh, really dive down into uh, in people's age. So twenty five to thirty four year olds is my biggest group. 93% uh, male. Uh, most of the people that watch the videos are not subscribed, only about 9%. And most 34% of the videos come from the United States or viewers. And then it breaks down all the different places. I can click on that and it gives you a uh, look at all these different places Thailand, Russia, Spain, Turkey. So who would have thought that people in Thailand would be watching my videos? But they are. Um, so that's pretty neat all over the place um, Serbia 209 views from Serbia so anyways that's just a quick overview let me go back to uh, here I can click on this so this is a list of all the vi all of my videos you can go down and see how many views in the last 28 days each one's getting so you can imagine these youtubers that are getting millions of views I can't even imagine what their analytics look like really it's got to be just nuts um, where they're getting millions of views a day or a week sometimes. All right, guys, hopefully that garnered you some insight onto YouTube, how the YouTube algorithms work, and how us as creators get paid. If you're thinking about doing your own channel, I highly recommend it. It's really fun to do. Um, it is a lot of work, filming, editing, uploading, doing all the descriptions and titles and keywords and uh, optimizing uh for the algorithms and stuff but it is it is fun it's it's a unique experience that we have here in 2020 you know youtube's only been around since 2008 i think and um you know i still film everything on my phone so it's not like you need super special equipment or anything i am hoping to get some new cameras and stuff this year um, we got a drone last year and some new tripods and some new sound equipment um, which I'm not even using right now, the sound stuff. Um, but, you know, go ahead and get started. Everybody has something unique and special about themselves and that they do in their lives, and there's an audience for it. So you might not have tens of millions of followers, uh, but, you know, <clears throat> you still could get your message out there, and your message is probably important. So go ahead and do it. If you have any questions, don't forget you know, always you can uh, leave comments, you can message me directly, and I try to answer everybody's questions. And I just appreciate everything and all the comments and all the people watching my videos so far, and hopefully we'll hit that 10,000 mark soon, and we'll just keep growing the channel. So I appreciate it, guys. Peace out.